Hi everybody, Brian Foote here reminding you to like and subscribe and definitely give your comments below. What are the risks of value investing? Well, let's start with definition. Charlie Munger said it best, all investing is value investing. In fact, his quote is, basically all investment is value investment in the sense that you're always trying to get better prospects than you're paying for. So what is the risk there? Well, we also have to have a definition, right? So if all investing is value investing, right? And the kind of investing we're doing, looking for convexity is that we're trying to get something better than what we're paying for. What is risk? Let's define it. In my mind, risk isn't short run stock market volatility or variability right? Because that's always with us. The moment you go into the stock market, you should expect volatility. You should expect variability. The real definition of risk for the purposes of this conversation is permanent impairment of capital. You lose your money permanently. That comes from a few sources, but let's isolate the internal sources. You make a mistake. You overpay for something, right? You analyze that a stock is worth or calculate that a stock is worth 10, you pay five. It turns out that there's some kind of impairment in the business that you didn't anticipate or that your research didn't get to. That's, that's a mistake and there is a risk in that. That's an analytical mistake. Another one, which is external, is a disaster occurs. You can't really anticipate disaster by definition uh, d disasters uh, are, are, are things, at least the way we think about them, uh, that, that, that can permanently impair the value of the business. Uh, think about a uninsured fire, right? If your research didn't un uncover that a company was lacking insurance, you might make that kind of analytical mistake. Now, one of the ways that we mitigate risk of stock market volatility over time is that we look for stocks that have sold off a bunch. But the thing is that looking among that subset of stocks, things that have underperformed, it's not always the secret ingredient to finding good value candidates, but it's all often the very good starting place. But these cast-offs could end up being what are classified as value traps. They're things that were thrown away by other investors uh, for at least temporarily good reason, sometimes more than temporary. We're not always looking for convex payouts among things that have sold off a lot, although again, it's a, it's a good starting point. So the main internal source of risk is you didn't do enough work. The main source of external risk is that just like any other business that you're owning a piece of, there's the, there's the unseen or unthought about risks. So Forget about just stock market volatility because we're going to use volatility and variability in the stock market to our advantage, right? If, if we've done our work and we've calculated uh, an intrinsic value for a company and we're comfortable with that, uh, we, we can deal with the, with the volatility in the market uh, in the short and intermediate run as we get to the longer term uh, goal, which is realization of that value. Uh, but uh, that is uh, the... Uh, not the end of the story, but the end of this lecture. And uh, I thank you for joining and uh, we'll talk soon.